Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Today we are back with another aesthetic dream island tour, and this one really just feels so realistic, and I think that's what I love the most about it. it has a ton of structured city areas, but also lots of natural areas as well. But before we get into it, let's just take a second to thank today's sponsor. Thank you to Hollywood Story for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited to share Hollywood Story with you guys because I personally love this mobile game so much and I think it's really important to have a fun game on your phone. And the idea of this one is that basically you become a movie star and you live this glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. You can build your career, shoot movies, follow the storylines for like juicy drama. You can even hang out with celebrities. And as you play the game and progress, you unlock different cities like Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Manhattan, in. There's honestly so much to do. My favorite part are all of the mini games and I love competing in a fashion duels. I really like just shopping in the game in general, but competing in the fashion duels, dressing my character up and then collecting unique fashion items and dresses is just so fun for me. I just love customizing my character, changing her hair. I don't know. The whole thing is super cute. And with downloading through my link, you can actually receive an exclusive dress in Hollywood Story. The dress will never be a available for anyone else except for the people who install through my link which I think is super cool so if you download now you can claim your free dress start creating your own Hollywood story and let me know how it goes thank you to Hollywood story let's get back to the video okay so the first thing we are going to do on this island is check out the map but I also just want to note how cute their flag is I can tell that they obviously love the mums and they are a pretty top tier flower so I love that I think that's a super cute design we have an orange airport and I'm already seeing so much beauty on this island. I do want to see what the map looks like, what villagers they have. So as you can tell, the island creator is Japanese, but I will have their socials listed so you can follow them. They post lots of inspiring images of their islands and the dream address is on the screen, which will of course also be in the description. So just first impressions of this map. I absolutely am loving seeing all of the natural like in-game pathing on here. I always love seeing that on a map and the island actually is pretty flat. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of flat islands lately, very minimal terraforming and really working with using just pathing and more, I guess, city aesthetics to create a flow around your island rather than relying on terraforming. And I think it's really hard to do, but it always comes out amazing when I tour these islands. So I'm super excited. We also have two resident reps. Both of their houses are decorated. We are going to check out interiors today, which I'm excited about. And then a really like wide range of different types of villagers. I think that this is really cool. I never see anyone have any of the kangaroos on their island. So you know what? They're getting some love on this island today. I'm not the biggest kangaroo fan, but if they're on this island, they must be cute. So let's get started. All right, so here we are at the entrance and I have to say this is a really good start. <laughs> I love diagonal pathing. If you watch my videos, I feel like I say that every time I see a diagonal path, it always just makes an area like 20 times better for me. So I love that there's this kind of interesting start to the island where you can either go to the left or the right, but the way that they laid it out to me just feels very different than what I, I usually see at entrances because it's really split right down the middle here. So you can choose to go to this more natural side or this more structured side. I'll also just see if I could pan the camera around anymore, but this is just looking so amazing. I feel like I am already swooning over this island, so I feel like we're just off to a really, really good start. I think the side that I am most drawn to is the right side, so we're going to start with the right of the island this time. So, I love this because I'm seeing a very cohesive color palette going on, and I feel like that's super important when you're designing islands. It, it is really fun when you know you play around with lots of different colors and aesthetics 
but seeing something like this the island just comes together so beautifully because all of these colors are like in perfect harmony everything just feels like it's meant to be there and it just feels very thought out and just stunning I love putting a little neighborhood on a diagonal path like this. The garden gnomes are absolutely adorable there. I keep forgetting to use those ever since the 2.0 items. I feel like I, you know, I haven't been giving my garden gnomes enough love, but they're, I'm, I'm remembering now and I'm going to bring them back. <laughs> Over here we have a little cute setup around the path. I always find these kind of areas super hard to decorate so I love that they're really playing with the pathing that they're using here. We have like a little bit of a tile design and this cool pattern in between this more concrete path which looks really great. Also the little symmetry going on with the scooters looks really good. And I think that this path is by ACNH Pickleton. I will definitely link it in the description of this video under the design codes. But this is a really great one if you're trying to do a more structured area but want to bring in a little bit of those natural elements like the leaves and the greenery. This path is really so beautiful. And I've never seen anyone, like I said, kind of mix it in with those different tiles. So it just shows that we could get really playful with the codes that we're using and just mix them up a bit, which I think looks really great. Lots of great detail all throughout here, like the spray cans and the, or yeah, spray paint cans. <laughs> I was like, is that the word? And the paint cans as well. Looks really good. I guess it wouldn't be a spray can, right? Like a spray paint bottle. Now I'm going to be thinking about this, but anyway, let's move on. Also, we have a, another house on this little like neighborhood path over here, which looks really good. Again, we're seeing that very cohesive look and feel all throughout here. So I want to just look up at the front a little bit further, make sure we didn't miss anything up here before I follow the path back. But I'm loving that this just feels very lived in. It looks like there's lots of places to kind of sit and relax. This is really just giving me a lot of serotonin. I just, I'm really liking the way that they're decorating and seeing that little like path um, or waterscaping come through feels really nice. It adds that little natural element to the whole island here. I do want to check out the beach. I did see that they have some pathing going on here. And this is really simple, but so well done. Again, they're mixing paths really nicely. We have this little wood path and then also this tile path here. And I just think that the way that they merge these together feels very natural, yet still very curated. If we follow this along here, this is the other piece of the beach. So lots of places to just kind of sit and relax. I can't really figure out what I would call the aesthetic of this island, but maybe as we go through the island, I will think of a name for it. But either way, I'm really just loving this kind of simple, overgrown town. I, I just think it looks so, so good. Oh, we found one of the resident reps. I don't know what she's saying, but she's so super cute. So we had to say hi. <laughs> I like her. I like her hair. And over here we have a little kind of, it looks like a, maybe a place to sit and hang out. We have a little guitar over here. I don't know if that's a guitar or ukulele, but either way, a little like place to have a barbecue because I'm seeing the barbecue stuff over there. So very, very charming all throughout. And then look at how nicely we've kind of moved over to a more natural part of the island where the campsite is. We have a lot more of these natural elements all throughout. We're seeing more of the in-game grass pathing. And then up here, let's see, it's right on the water, which I think is a perfect spot for a campsite. <gasps> Look, is that kit or cat, whatever her name is? <laughs> She's strolling around the island. Um, like I said, I never really see the kangaroos, but you know what? She's, she's, kind of cute i i don't know <laughs> up here we have a little like beach bar this is just so good i think if you can if you have the time to decorate your beaches doing something like this where there's a little actually maybe that's not a beach bar that's exactly where my mind went to but maybe that's where you buy tickets to go on the ferry over here to see cap'n or maybe this is like a fishing dock Either way, very realistic. I love this. I love any realistic parts of an island. So I think that that just came out really nice. And it's way better than anything I would have done because I would have ignored my beaches altogether. So I love getting this inspiration from these amazing creators. 
So let's see, this is a really cool little pathway over here. We have this statue and then like a little lookout area, which is just a really cool combination of items. And we can even like kind of pan our camera down and see what's going on here. There's like a little kind of like faux house maybe up there by using those outdoor stalls. That looks really good. I mean, look at that view. It's just so beautiful. I am honestly so impressed by everyone's islands that I tour. It's just crazy that I am always inspired with every single island that I see. It really makes me feel like I'm going to love this game forever, which is such a good fun feeling to have. I think before I go back there, I'm going to head back up to the front and maybe come around the other way. I did see like a little uh, pathway back there, but I don't want to come through from the back. So we're going to go to the left now and then make our way around. So we're back by the entrance. This is where we would have went if we went over to the left side. And this is just such a great little like centerpiece area, little courtyard area. I want to open up the camera just to get an idea of the view. But I love that you can see resident services in the back. I mean, this is just so calming and it has a much more natural feel on this side of the island. I'm already getting a more overgrown kind of farmy feel to this side. So I'm wondering if that's going to be carried out um, even more throughout this side of the island. Let's see if we come back here a little bit. I did want to see what's on the beach and it looks like we have another little like campsite area, some kids tents. I love that they incorporated the DIY bench here as well. I feel like that's such a good item to use as decoration and it's also really useful when you're just running around your island looking for something to your one of your DIY benches to craft on. So really cute little areas all through around the all around the beach here and I think before I go up to Able Sisters I should just go back um, through this courtyard area just so we make sure we don't miss anything on our way so this is a really nice little transition from the courtyard to resident services I absolutely love the way that this looks and the way that they've kind of broken out these different kinds of pathing by using this divider path super cool idea and then another little kind of centerpiece with this I forgot what this is one of these bush items and little seats all around I think the party lights arches also really help to frame these areas and help direct you around the island so this is resident services over here and the creator does have some codes that they've made themselves so I will just put those up on the screen in case you want to download any of those or you can grab them when you come visit this island yourself but always like to share the codes that the creators have made themselves as well. So I'm going to go to the left of resident services now and I think this is where we're starting to see some of the resident rep houses. I am going to go in there. I just want to check out the surrounding area first and then we'll check out the interiors. But loving that we are really in this interesting mix of like natural and overgrown but also this like kind of more structured European vibe. I just really like that they're able to pull off all of these different kinds of paths together and really make it feel like a realistic town that also has some like natural elements to it because I love the natural aesthetic but I also just love a nice structured island so if you couldn't tell from the rest of my videos this is one of my favorite if not my favorite type of theme so right here, I just wanted to open up the camera and show how beautiful this looks with the two resident rep houses. Very excited to check out what's inside of them, but just the pathing work here, it's flowing so beautifully and everything is just so perfectly placed, yet it doesn't feel too stiff. It feels very curated, but it feels very kind of organic as well. So I think I'll go in this house first and see what's going on in here. Okay, so we have entered this first house and this looks to be a cafe, just assuming from the little placemat. And also the aesthetic is just exactly kind of what I would have imagined for this island. We have just so many cozy elements with the rug on the left side, that little bar over there and then even a little place to sit and work. I really don't know if this is a cafe or someone's house. I feel like it could honestly be either, but I think that they did just such a beautiful job of breaking up the space. I'm starting to feel like maybe it's someone's house because this little area feels very 
kind of personal with the shelving and then there's only one desk but I don't know I think it could honestly be either and it just looks so good I love seeing all of the whites and the wood together it just works really really beautifully let's go in the room to the left okay so this is definitely the bathroom and they are clearly really good at interiors I mean I never feel like I can pull off these partition walls very well but I love the way that they use the partition walls and then that kind of like shelf in between it really adds a lot of dimension and breaks up the space really beautifully I'm just gonna kind of pan up so we could see what's in each of these I think that the one on the left is a shower and then in between there is maybe like a closet closet and then we have the actual bathroom over to the right this is so good and i feel like the touch with the little slippers over here just makes it feel so homey and just so cute i i also just noticed the piece of art by the toilet and that might be the prettiest little bathroom that i have ever seen <laughs> what a beautiful composition for a toilet i love that so so good so this is the back room over here. This definitely looks like a little kind of like lounge study area. I love that again, they're really taking advantage of the wall and column items. I just think it looks so amazing. I also just love whatever this like hanging curtain is that leads you to this little seating uh, area, I guess I would call it, where the couch is. Look at the dried flowers on the wall too it just looks so good i wish that my office looked like this i'm currently in the process of wanting to redesign my little office slash gaming setup and i feel like this is just so minimal but so well designed i just love it i think it looks so so good okay so this is the room to the right and we have a very like industrial feel over here which is very interesting I love that this is just totally like its own apartment. Maybe they rent out this room as a separate apartment or something because we even have like a little kitchen over here. But I just think that this is so nice. Or maybe this just is, I, I don't know. I just love this. I think that the like concrete walls and the cold feel in this room just really nicely contrast the rest of the island and the rest of the whole house interior. And again, the way that they separate these small rooms, they really make such good use of the space. Okay, so we are upstairs now and look at this room. I feel like I need to open the camera just so we could see all of it. This is so cool. I don't know how they found these items that just work so well together when it comes to their like general color palette. That rug on the right side, that color palette, it just works with this entire room those little cots on the right side there i'm wondering if this is like maybe a like dorm situation or like a roommate situation here but i really love this and again i love that they used those little i don't even know what they are if they're like the ballet um i i don't know dividers i feel like whenever i'm touring like words just leave my brain and it will come to me later but i think that's a really cool way of separating a room and it definitely fits with this kind of minimal aesthetic that we have going on here feels very perfect i would definitely say this room feels like whoever lives here leaves everything completely in their space nothing's out of whack or messy ever and i truly strive to be like this one day okay so down here this is actually one of the prettiest basements i think i've ever seen this is definitely a little place to like get ready this is maybe like a super huge closet i would love to have a closet that looked like this where it had like a whole mirror and everything it even has a sink so i don't know maybe this is like a really fancy bathroom actually but again whoever lives here definitely has their life together just like look at how perfect this looks it honestly looks like a store <laughs> little places to work over here and sit this is definitely like a little home office and it looks so good they're just really good at creating very cohesive spaces and i am such a fan of their overall aesthetic so we're back on the main island now we saw everything in that house i do think we should just check out the house to the left before we go any further on the actual island so let's go in the white house over here this house has such a different feel it's definitely a lot more modern a lot less like 
cozy feeling, but I absolutely adore it. I think that the black and white aesthetic, it just will never go out of style in my opinion. This just looks so cool. Maybe this one is the cafe because we have a cash register over here. So maybe the other one wasn't a cafe, but this one definitely is. We have a little like bar set up over to the left where you could probably order some coffee. And they just did such a great job with the accent wall. And then even this little like kind of hidden area over here to work. I recently have been looking for just like good cafes to work in since I work from home most days and I would love to hang out in that little section over there and do some work. This just looks so, so stunning. I feel like I'm really bad at panning the camera around in interiors, so I'm going to apologize in advance. <laughs> Okay, so this room over to the left looks like a little kind of office area. Maybe if this is a cafe, whoever works here is clearly a very hard worker. This is their office, but they also sleep here, which is very, very dedicated of them. And I love that we have the little like clothes rack over there also. This is just, again, they have a way of making these interiors feel so, so realistic. And I think that's honestly such a talent in and of itself. Okay, so this room in the back is definitely a bedroom. This is so cute. I never see anyone really use a lot of color like walls in, in their interiors, at least on the islands I've been touring. So I love that they're really leaning into this like blue color palette. It feels very personal. And again, like I honestly want them to design in my house they're so great at setting up these interiors these layouts are honestly so amazing okay so this is the room over to the right and wow i was just saying that they were doing such a good job with using those fun accent walls but look at the pear wall here i'm actually inspired to use this wall now I feel like in real life, I would love to have a really fun wallpaper like that. And that just looks so amazing <laughs> in this room. It's so fun. It's so different than the other like main room in this house. So I just think it's really cool and, and just fun overall of how they're approaching every room so differently. Okay, so upstairs, this room, once again, such a great job of dividing these areas up. We have more of a study area, office, work area over to the right. And then over to the left, it looks like more of a maybe like bath area. I also like that they are creating these like really luxurious bathroom areas. And it just makes you kind of realize that you don't need a toilet for these like bath areas. It could just be more of a almost like spa type of feel. I really am enjoying just overall all of their interiors. I feel like this is a really good island to get some not only exterior inspiration, but interior inspiration as well. Okay, and the last room of this house is the basement and dare I say that this may be my favorite room of all of their interiors. I think that they just have such a talent of creating really interesting and unique color palettes and I really love the mix of the kind of like antique furniture that like worn away color with this really also kind of muted dark blue. It's just so stunning and such a cool way of approaching a layout. Once again, they have so many cool layouts for these interiors. I would have never thought to do a little living room space like that and then also somehow fit in a bed and a kitchen area. I'm just remembering my studio apartment challenge I did so long ago. And if I had thought of this layout, I feel like I would have just had such an easier time. This is so, so well done, beautiful. 10 out of 10 this room is for me. Okay, so we're back on the main island now. I could tell it got a little brighter out. I guess we've been, you know, touring inside the interiors for a while, but I like that we could see the island in some brighter daylight. I loved the early morning, but the more different like lighting that we can get, I think is always better so i love the way once again that this little neighborhood looked i love that i'm seeing the museum already over there but i do remember that we had to go check out where able sisters was so we are going to go through this little area over here and just walk through here look at some different angles and see what's going on 
First things first, I do want to just note how beautiful this layout is. I love that we see the house in the back and then Abel's and this other villager house over here. You could just see how well this whole island has been planned and laid out. Everything just feels so perfectly placed, but it still has such a unique touch to it. So I'm going to check out some more details over here. I really like this idea of using this like wood plank code as just the exterior pathing around a house definitely gives it a really cool like deck feel which i think just feels really nice it's so weird after touring an interior i want to like pan my camera around the same way i can in interiors and then i realize i cannot but i wanted to show just all of the details around this little front yard it looks really really nice so coming up here i want to see what's up in this area this is like a little kind of walkway in front of this town i think we saw a little bit of it before when we were checking out the beaches but i just think it's really amazing that they've decorated every inch of this island and really thought about even these little walkways or sidewalks um, and how they could design those as well I think that just a lot of work and effort has went into this island in general so I definitely want to show as much of it as I can. Coming up here we do have Abel Sisters and I feel like it has a bit of a thrift shop vibe. I think that the clock is making me feel that way and then just some of the other little items out here. It definitely has a super cool feel just all around. Also seeing all the greenery with the trees surrounding Abel Sisters, it just is so pleasing to look at. The mannequin in the front there, just every little item is so well thought out. Even having the washing machine out front, that is honestly genius. I always am struggling to decorate around Abel Sisters, so I feel like this has a ton of really great inspiration for us. It looks like there's some more stuff over to the left that we'll get to once we wrap around here but let's look at it from this angle as well looks so so good i mean i have no i have no words for this island <laughs> i'm gonna come back up this way by the neighborhood where the main houses were and we're gonna follow this pathway along i know that the museum is over here and some other little cute areas as well before we head up to the museum, I'm going to walk down this way. Look at all of the detail around this path here. This is honestly just so good. They really have nailed that overgrown vibe by just mixing in the weeds on top of the path, the different tile codes, and then also just like the scattered papers really add to that. This is a really stunning view right here. And also the fact that the sides of the pathing are completely decorated with different stalls and different just kind of like things to look at. I think it really helps add to the overall just visual interest of a space. The museum looks so good behind me. I'm really excited to check that out. But coming up here, we have this little like gazebo walkthrough area and then lots of fun and interesting stuff going on here. Definitely has a more like beachy vibe over here with the lighthouse and the boats. Very, very just interesting layouts all throughout. I'm always, like I said, so amazed at the combinations of items that creators will come up with that just somehow work so well together. It's so honestly things I would never think of and that's what I think is so cool about touring a lot of these islands. Little place to sit over here also, even that parked car on the beach, it just really like works. Everything just works very, very well. I'm going to come back up this way through the little party lights arch and now we're going to head over to where that museum is. So coming through this way, we're just getting such a cool view once again of that museum. It looks really great. And let's see. Oh my gosh, look at how cool this is. If you're looking for some like overgrown museum inspiration, I feel like this is definitely it. <laughs> we have such a nice mix of the art and the statues, but then also like the boxes on the floor. It makes it feel kind of run down, but still so interesting. It's just a fun and different way of decorating or approaching your museum. Such a great view here as well. I have to figure out how we can get behind this area now. So we're going to go back to over where Residence Services is and maybe make our way behind there if there's another path for us. We're gonna just figure this out together. I think that, yeah, I went 
around the wrong way. But let's see. I didn't see a way for us to go through from the left side, so we're gonna go over to the right. I'm sure there will be some sort of incline or something for us, which there is. But again, every like area we go to, it still feels very cohesive and in line with the overall aesthetic of the island, but there is so many different themes popping through here like this is a much more farmy natural feel and they somehow are able to nail every single theme i don't know how but i mean it's so 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 good <laughs> i love the mixture of the green and white pumpkins even the potatoes over here so many fun little details to take in as you like wander around this island we even have goldie here just enjoying her life i thought she was going to start mowing the lawn but <laughs> so all the villagers are out today we have raymond out here too so many amazing little details all throughout Every little angle of this island is definitely super inspiring. So I feel like many of you are going to want to visit this island yourself also. And I highly recommend it because I feel like I have so much to see and we've been here for a little while already. This is our Nook's Cranny. And I like that they leaned into Nook's being more of this kind of farmy, like more on the side of the the farmy side of the island i can't speak today but i think the nooks aesthetic works really well with like selling crops having that tractor outside surrounded by wheat fields just works really well and then the way that they've kind of like stopped us over here it just i don't know they've done a really amazing job i don't know how to get up this incline i don't even know if that's like something that is accessible oh i see how do we get over there we're gonna have to maybe go over to the beach because I do wanna go up on that incline and I see that there was a little ladder, but loving already this like natural side of the island. I think before we go up that incline, I should just try to have us see that incline over there because like I said, I don't wanna miss anything on this really stunning island. So, okay, I think I see how to get over there. We're gonna like wrap around this beach area and come up here i love little hidden areas on islands like this it definitely makes it fun to kind of explore and see what you find and this is just such a fun little like almost has like a treehouse feel to it going up this incline a little wood ladder and just a little place to sit relax sit on the hammock very very cute and just feels very cozy I'm assuming there will be another way for us to get to the peninsula, so I'm not going to go over there yet. We're going to actually now go up that main incline that we saw when we walked to the right side of the island, and then I think we will eventually get over to that little peninsula area. So there's a very specific way to walk around here. We got through, and let's see. I can't get enough of this side, so I don't even mind that we've had to walk through this area again because it's so, so pretty. And I wanted to get a view here also. Love it. Okay, look, oh my gosh. This is so good. I love that you come up here and there's almost this little like, it's not a boardwalk, but just like this little walkway area. And then you're getting such a beautiful view of this really natural countryside town. That is so beautiful. It honestly feels a little bit like a Ghibli movie to me. And oh my God, I love it. Also, I just realized I said Ghibli and I feel like a lot of people say Ghibli. So I don't know. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I've always said Ghibli <laughs> and then I realized I might be, I may be wrong. Anyway, coming through here, there is this little cute seating area. Like I said, this has a very boardwalk feel to it. And I just love when people or creators do this. I think it's such a fun way to give life to like the edges of what a pathway would be. So this is very well done. We're going to actually walk through maybe this way over here and check out just all of the detail going on over here also oh my gosh i feel like we should have went to the peninsula before but it's fine we'll get we'll get over there okay i have so much to say about this part of the island but overall i just really love the way that this looks and those wheat fields in the background are honestly just the best touch that i feel like they could have added to this so much to see all throughout here but i'm just gonna kind of like walk through it and we can take it all in together this is just 
it's it's too good I also love that all of these like transition areas they usually have like the party lights arch and I really love this like design trick I guess I would say to use the party lights arch to transition between areas it just really works nicely and if you can fit it within your island theme I think it's it's a good idea okay so this has a very like Japanese aesthetic to it feels a little bit like I don't know like maybe zen garden feel very just overall like i said that japanese natural aesthetic and it they really have nailed it it looks so so good that outdoor ponds and just the house exterior that they chose i would love to come visit this little area over here it just looks so relaxing and there's even a little place to fish oh my gosh so this is where some of that terraforming on the map i guess comes in is with this area over here by this house definitely loving the more natural areas of their island as well they've just again done such a beautiful job all throughout so we're gonna follow this little pathway back here there's just so much to see and i'm really just like trying to take it all in as best as i can okay opening up the camera one more time over here because look at the way that this transitioned from that house to this little courtyard area i really was expecting this island to of course i was going to love it but i thought it was going to be very similar to other islands i've toured before but there's something about this creator's aesthetic that just feels so unique and I just feel like I haven't seen anyone design quite the way that they do. So I'm really hoping you guys feel as inspired as I am with this island. I mean, just the mix of the regular in-game stone path with the greenery and the natural trees all throughout. It's just so, I don't know, it's so satisfying. I really am just such a fan, like I said, of this island in general. We even have this nice little bridge centerpiece, and I love that it frames the secret beach. This right here is just such a beautiful view all like in itself, and I love just the light and bright colors coming through here. I do want to see like what's on the secret beach and how they've decorated it. So we have a little like lifeguard chair, some little places to sit. Maybe this is actually people can like go diving and swimming out here and you can sign up. I don't know, maybe you could do some surfing. I just love that all the areas feel so realistic that you can kind of create a story around every area on this island. So I'm just panning the camera up a bit. I love to see a little bit more of the full picture and I mean, I really cannot get enough of this island. Even back here, like they've decorated this rock area with the lighthouse. This is such a great layout once again. I just, I don't know. There's something that they're doing with the way that they're curating all the items together, the way that they like group items and place them that feels just so special. Coming throughout here, we actually have another little neighborhood area. And I've been seeing this kind of like grass code and I think it looks so good. It kind of looks like turf in a way or just like perfect grass. And it definitely gives that, I guess this is like a little maybe volleyball court or something. So I guess the turf would make sense, but I don't know. It adds a little bit of texture. It adds a little something different. And this right here is just a beautiful view in front of this house. We feel like we entered a very like suburban neighborhood now, and I really like this. I love the suburban towns, even this little courtyard area, little like park area to sit. So good. Um, let's see, before I go any further that way, I do want to just check out the beach because I feel like there was some stuff over here on the beach. We have this whole rock over here that is completely decorated. Looks like maybe just, I don't know, like a work area. Looks like maybe we get some, I don't know, like shipments coming through over here, like a dock. It just looks very, very good. Again, very realistic, which I think we've seen from this creator. They just have a very realistic way of decorating so i'm gonna come back through this way i also just i just love the stone pathing so much i think in my first island i was using stone like the in-game stone pathing a lot and i just am feeling now very inspired to use it again oh, look at this every angle that i go to is just so good i i'm such a fan honestly of everything on this island look at this is this not 
the most beautiful transition again i don't know how they do it but there's so many different paths on this island and so many different ways of transitioning from like structured to natural like this is definitely a more structured part of the town we have like this double bridge moment going on it feels very symmetrical and just before we were in a very natural or more suburban area so i don't know how they do it but they've really just merged so many cool different aesthetics and themes in like one cohesive feel which is like i said so so hard to do just want to see what else is over here to the left i think this is just like the edge of the path little views that you can look at over here as well and then if we come up over to the right here i want to see what else is on this little pathway again really cute places to sit so many great ideas just like decoration item ideas i feel like there's so much like i said inspiration to get from here and look at this oh my god i love that that is the perfect little centerpiece i love that they have the fencing surrounding it and that they have like some of the more natural items coming through like the flowers it just really breaks up this more like gray city area that we have over here i am so in awe of how big this island feels because i know we still have things that we haven't seen yet like we still have to get over to the peninsula but there's so much to see over here this is like a little bath area or a little fountain area and it's kind of similar to how they had their interiors like the way that they're breaking out these really interesting spaces there's definitely a lot to learn from just the way that they approach designing their island so loving 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 all of that let's see i'm gonna come up this way and see if we can make our way um out oh wait no i think we cannot get out from this way so we may have to go back around um, where we came from and just loop around that way i'm gonna go over one of these oh my gosh is that actually like a triple bridge or oh no I, for a second i was like wait i thought there was only two bridges over here and then i thought there was three all right i'm losing my mind a little bit we're gonna walk back through this area and just make our way around here and up to the front and right of the island um, i think we had seen everything over this way but let me just check once again and no we didn't because i don't remember this little area this is further to the back right side of the island this is where we have another one of the villager houses and this more natural aesthetic again loving i think i'm loving the natural areas like so much i'm feeling so inspired by them but honestly every part of this island i'm feeling pretty inspired by look at this view over here <laughs> the terraforming is stunning I think it's really beautiful the way that they've terraformed around this bridge and these little pieces of land in between there even the way that they've kind of blocked off the backside of the island with those outdoor uh, stalls they look really really good and i think that this villager actually has their own incline and they have their own little patio or balcony up here they're really living large and i love that for them <laughs> I'm gonna come up over here and see we have a little campsite area and then there's even this whole farm over here and again it fits in you could tell that we've transitioned to more of the farmy side of the island and i did want to also go back over here lots of cute little items on the beach and we could even walk through this way and there's this little outdoor bath again so many fun little spots to find throughout this island and again that's like why i feel like the island feels so big because there is so much to see and coming up this way we're i don't think we were up here at all before i want to see what part this connects to oh this may only have been accessible like through the back side of the island but we have one of these other villager houses over here and it has a very like almost medieval feel I, I i don't know but it has a much more like countryside again like aesthetic to it and i love how much space they gave this villager it definitely just feels very fitting because if you think about a farmy 
part of a island. It just feels like there'd be lots and lots of acres of land. So again, makes sense. And this is actually where the peninsula was. So we did make our way over here, but I love this. It's very simple. We have the lighthouse over here and a little place to sit, just hang out. You could have a picnic over here. Feels very, very charming. And then up here as well, oh my gosh, this was totally hidden in my opinion. And I love that because how it's so satisfying to, to find this little area, a little place to hang out on this rooftop. We even have a stunning lookout area of that like farmy countryside house that we were just looking at. And I mean, what's better than getting another view? I feel like that is just always amazing when you find more views of an island. And this is again, very well done. I love this whole like dock uh, or not deck, but like uh, wood deck code that they're using just feels very fitting for the overall color palette of this side of the island. Okay, so we did definitely see a lot just now. We covered a lot of the areas that I think we had originally missed. I'm going to kind of like run back over this way and make sure that I didn't miss anything else when we were checking out this little uh, kind of farmy area over here. But this makes sense. It's kind of how these things connect. A lot of things are really hidden and I really like that. I just think it adds so much charm and personality to an island. So I think that we may have seen everything on this island. There was a ton to see. I know this video is probably a little bit longer than usual, but I think it was so worth it. I cannot wait to hear what you all think in the comments. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next, what you loved about this island. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you to our sponsor, Hollywood Story. Be sure to go check it out. Give them a download. Please use my link if you do. It definitely helps the channel out. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.